What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we have a special little surprise. As you guys know, Maverick has been helping out in the garage and stuff. And like I said, we are starting some 240 mods. We're going big today. By the way, Maverick just got his new wheels and tires in. R32 wheels with some beefy meat up here. We're gonna go slide pretty soon. Oh, yeah. Maverick, I'll let you do the unboxing. So we got ISR exhaust, it's like just basic exhaust. It's gonna sound really good. So he actually got, or yeah. you still have your stock cat? I still have my stock cat. Cool, so it's not gonna be obnoxiously loud, but it will be loud. And Maverick's running no exhaust currently right now. Yeah, so, so this is actually gonna be a lot better. Let's see it. Ooh, that's nice, man. Super shiny, some shiners. Damn, and I love the dual tip right here. That's gonna look sick coming out the back. So before we get started though, we have to do a sound test before and a sound test after. Oh, true. So hop in, let's hear it. No exhaust. No exhaust. Super rattly. Yeah, it just needs to fix this. <laughs> I think it's- We are gonna make this 240 great, I promise you. This is a very, very easy, very straightforward mod to do. Since he isn't changing the down pipe or test pipe or anything like that, it's literally just regular mid pipe and then you have your tip right there. So just a couple of bolts and we have to line it up underneath the car. Super simple and it's gonna make a huge difference afterwards. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. Ooh, let's see the tip. Oh, this is That's clean. sick, dude. Has a little ISR logo right there. I think that's new. I don't think my brother yeah. has that on his. That's awesome. Classic 240 style right there. Feed me the pipe, brother. Dude, that was literally like a five minute exhaust install. Oh, I know, we should have tightened Re it. Record time. Exhaust is completely on, we're just gonna go ahead and tighten up all the bolts, start it up, and this thing should sound super awesome. Let's see, how's it feel? Oh, it feels solid. solid, look at this. Oh yeah, that's gonna be so much better, dude. Okay, so you guys can see, I guess that's, you would call that the test pipe, and we have the ISR mid pipe all the way to the dual tip, which my favorite part is like the angle of it. That's dope, all right, let's hear it. Yeah, just turn it on. I'll check for any like leaks or anything like that and rattles or whatever, but should sound good. Oh, nice. So much better, let me go check Okay, it. I think I figured out what the rattling is. It seems like the drive shaft right there is a little bit loose, but overall the exhaust, no leaks. You're good to go. Hell yeah. It sounds good, dude. It sounds really good. Yeah. Let's go for a drive. Oh, hell yeah. Let's go for a drive. Oh, yeah. All right, initial impressions. Oh, it's quiet. Like, I like it. And that sounds really good, dude. Yeah, it sounds like aggressive. Good sounding 240 not too loud but just loud enough so he does still have the stock k in there which is pretty cool he doesn't want to turbo it he thinks that like this car should be like pure yeah before it just sounded really raspy and then like now you don't hear the rasp anymore no it's so good driving without an exhaust is so brutal so like when you're on the freeway it's gonna be a 10 times better oh true because like i can't even listen to music in my car because the exhaust overweighs the music. <laughs> yep all right, 240 is good to go. Now it's time for the BRZ. So I actually have another drift day one week from uh, the last drift day that we just went to. So it was unexpected. So now I have to rush to get this thing ready for the track. Now what we're gonna do today is basically the same thing, load up all the tires and the jack and everything, but we're actually going to change the oil in this car today because we ripped the shit out of this thing on the track last time. And I definitely wanna get fresh oil in there and make sure everything's running okay, especially after the dyno tune with E85. It's gonna be a fun track day. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da. Here we have Dustin's BRZ. 
Just mark What's up? <laughs> I'm making commentary. All right. So let's hope this time no vacuum leak issues. The car ran great on the dyno, so that's good. A bill said everything seemed healthy. We got an upgraded NAF sensor. Should be pretty good for track day. Now, this is the oil that I got. Synthetic 5W30 since the car is boosted and it's going to be running at a higher temp on the track. I wanted to go with a little heavier weight oil. I've never used the 5W30 on the BRZ, so I'm curious to see if it makes it run any different. Oil is oil, so I'm sure nothing will change, but that's what we're gonna be using today. Hopefully this isn't boiling hot right now. It's only one way to learn, and that's the hard way. <laughs> oh, my headers are hot. <sighs> fuck, why is it so tight? Oh. oh, there you go. Almost had a knuckle buster. I know, dude, fuck. Ready? Mm -hmm. This is it. Oh! oh! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if the camera, no, the camera's safe. That was so much. Dude, go get me another one. Go get me another one. Oh, we're good or not good? Oh, that <laughs> filled up so oh. fast. Oh man. Okay. Yeah. So we. <laughs> I forgot to get an oil drain. A. Oh. Okay. Good. But we're good. We're good. Just Life hack: paint buckets. Paint buckets. Thank God we just recently painted this place. All right, dude, that fucking squirted everywhere. <laughs> hey, and also, quick tip: WD-40 gets out oil stains. Really? Yeah. Didn't know that. While this drains, well, can we work up top? Towels, dude. <laughs> I know, look at this. All over the shirt. <laughs> oh man. At the end of the day, at least this is your garage and your dad won't yell at you. <laughs> true, that's very true. Go use your man muscles. Oh bro, do you even lift? Got this shit, bro. There it's going. <laughs> okay, slow down, don't poop yourself, all right? <laughs> all right, some black oil, brother. Ooh, K and N? Dang, you fancy, fancy. All right, whenever you're changing your oil, if you don't already know, just take a little bit of your old oil, put it all around the new one, and we're gonna have a good track day tomorrow. New tune and new oil. Oh, it's gonna be night. This car's gonna be night and day difference. Yeah, that's on. Now we can just let the rest of this oil drain and we're ready for the new stuff. Quick tip right here as well. Once your car is pretty much all the way done draining out, pour a little bit of your new oil in here just to like completely flush out and clean all of the bad shit that was in here. Shit. Just a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit. Could have drained back out. That took a while to get up. That's how they cook the oil. Nope. You gotta go fishing for that bolt. It's a little warm in there too. Ooh, okay. ew. Oh, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> That's the worst, bro. I should not have done that. Rest in peace. This is why you always wear gloves. All right, quick. So we're just full of tips today. Yeah, we are. Okay. We just tightened up the oil pan bolt. Quick tip. So. I completely forgot a funnel and I don't know why I don't have a funnel in my shop already, but if you don't have a funnel, a little hack here is to... I can fucking... Don't cut yourself. He's not the best at tutorials. There we go. Step back. Dude, this would have been a really great tutorial. <laughs> well, usually people, when they're doing this, they're at home, so they have like... Yeah, they have regular scissors. I'm just very unprepared here, okay? We'll just cut to the clip where this is the top of this is cut off. Clip, it's good. <laughs> done, done. <laughs> perfect fitment here, by the way. Look at this. Oh yeah, perfect. That's what we made for. Okay, so 5.4 quarts of oil. All right, look at that aim. Look at that. Yep, right, gotta so get that. the little drip. That was five. What does she go like? Yeah. Looked like 0.4 quarts. <laughs> Good to go. Oil change complete. Dyno tune complete. Now we just gotta like pack up all the tires and the jack and we are good to go for drift day. So we're gonna go ahead, start the car, let the oil run through it a little bit and then we're just gonna go rip it for fun because that's what I wanna do. Hell yeah. Just 
got to make sure the oil, you know, runs through the car correctly, right? Yeah, of course. <laughs> that was just a little quick trip to Mexico. 12 seconds later. All right, update. Dustin doesn't know what to pour. <laughs> that was fucking you. Matt, what do we do about this mess, dude? <laughs> this is bad. This is this is a no-no. In the shop is different, but <laughs> now we've reached. This is not good. This is, I'm still spilling. Most of the oil <laughs> is going to be disposed of. Maverick, you need to. <laughs> I know. This will be clean, trust me. <laughs> <laughs> 